Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. We're being asked to simplify the complex fraction. That's always a clue. That right there might remind you that, oh yeah, this a to the negative one is really telling me I have a fraction. So we should have rewritten each of these negative exponents as positive. So we're gonna have five over a to the first minus one over b to the first. We're changing the negative exponent to a positive. And then in the denominator, we have 25 over a squared minus 1 over b squared. Good. Where do these 1s come from? Those are the coefficients that we had originally. It was understood to be 1, and they're left behind there because the exponent only affects what's immediately in front of it. So now what we're going to do is use the technique of finding the least common denominator and multiplying it through the numerator and denominator of the fraction. So we're going to have to look for each unique factor. We have a to the first, b to the first, a squared, b squared. When I say unique factor, I'm not talking about the powers, I'm talking about the bases. So we have an a base and a b base, right? So we just write down a times b. And then we need the highest power because our whole goal here is to get the powers to cancel out. So we need two A's and we need two B's, the highest power to which they appear. So now I'm gonna multiply the numerator by A squared B squared, but I can only do that if I also multiply the denominator and make an equivalent fraction. Now this is just like multiplying by a whole number. You could think of it as being over 1. It's only going to multiply into each of the numerators in both of the little fractions in the top and the bottom. So I'm going to copy down what I had before, except now I'm going to multiply a squared, b squared to each of those numerators. So let's see what we're left with. In the top left fraction there, we had 5a squared b squared over a. So one of the a's cancels out, right? So what are we left with? 5ab squared, right? And then in the second fraction, top right, we have 1a squared b squared over b. What cancels? The b. So we're left with one of the b's gone. We're left with just one, but I don't need to write that, a squared b over now in the bottom left, what's going to cancel? A squared, leaving us with 25B squared, good. Minus in the bottom right, what's going to cancel? The B squared, leaving just A squared. So that's kind of the key step right there. The rest is the simplifying. Remember, this is a rational expression because it's a fraction with variables in it. When I say simplify a rational expression, you need to automatically think, okay, it has to be in factored form for me to be able to reduce. Can I factor the numerator? What's a GCF could be factored out of this numerator? Do we have two A's? Yes. We have an A and then we have b's as well. And so what's left behind in the first term? Yes, the five is still there and one b is still left behind. And what's left behind in the second term? Just an a. All right, now in the denominator, we have 25b squared minus a squared. There's no GCF we can factor out, but it fits the pattern of a difference of squares, right? 25 is a perfect square, b squared is a perfect square, a squared is a perfect square, which always factor into conjugates, the same two terms, but with the opposite sign in the middle. What will the first term b? 5b times 5b gives you 25b squared. a and a, a times a gives you a squared. If you were to FOIL that out, you would see that you get 5b squared minus a squared. The middle terms cancel. Which of these factors are in common in both the numerator and denominator? 5b minus a divides out to leave a factor of 1. 1 times ab is just ab. And in the denominator, we have 5b plus a. Don't make the mistake of thinking you need to cancel more because the 5b is being added to the a. The, I always say addition and subtraction are like glue. These guys are stuck together. Unless you can factor it out as we did in the previous step, you cannot cancel anything. So for example, you can't say a goes into a once. That, that doesn't work. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.